Hey guys and welcome to another Lego Time video. This is another testing battery video. So basically we've tested the Chevron, Chevron uh, AAA batteries from Woolworths. Six of these for $2.50 if you buy the 24 pack and they lasted 33 minutes. They, that was our first battery. Our second battery was the Chevron 9 volt battery. Now this did require uh, a minor modification to the battery box um, which again if you do this you do risk damaging it so yeah this battery uh, not really the the value that is this battery okay the other day I was at Jcart and I picked this up this is a nickel metal hydride battery charger and um, yeah, so this is a battery charger. I can charge two 9-volt batteries or I can charge four other batteries. I This battery charger was for, I think it was $26. And I picked up a 9-volt, 200 milliamp battery. Now, I have div given this a full charge. The full charge took about, I don't know, I put it on last night before I went to bed. I woke up this morning and the light had gone off. It says it takes about ten, uh, 5 to 10 hours depending on the capacity of the battery. Now this is a Powertech nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery 8.4 volt 200 milliamp. Standard charge 15 hours at 20 milliamps. Fast charge 1.2 hours at 200 milliamps. So I'm going to throw this now. Now this battery was $14. So for seven of these, I could buy one of these. So that means for this to become more value, well, it's a rechargeable. So one, I've got to use it. It's got to last at least 15 to 20 minutes. And I've got to recharge it seven times. So you get the value back when it's rechargeable. So I'm going to plug this in now to my modified battery box again modify your battery box at your own risk it can damage um, it can damage uh, the the electrics but it shouldn't because it's 9 volt and it is after a 9 volt battery now what I'm trying to do is I'm doing these battery tests to see one what is more economical and also two what one is going to last better what rechargeable is going to last better where you don't have to keep changing the batteries um so we've got the battery in now i'm going to dump that off uh the battery um cover goes on to make the train look cool so that slides in like that I'm going to clip on these battery. Now I am going to, so that is that there. Now I'm going to switch it over to hyperlapse. Uh, so that's it there. I've got the train set up, ready to run. I'm going to switch it over to hyperlapse. I'm going to fix up my clock and then we're going to get started. So this is testing. This is testing the battery charger batteries. Let's see how it goes. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button. That helps out a lot with my channel. And also comment below what you think. Would you modify your train to take a 9 volt battery? Remember that that adapter cost me $1.50. So $1.50 and $15 for the rechargeable battery. So $40 for the set. Um, you can get a couple of rechargeables and switch them over. It's probably more efficient than carrying around hundreds of these little tiny batteries. But yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna get it going. So let's turn it on. So it's powered up on the yellow. My son likes blue. So let's switch it over now.
Hey guys and how's it going? Welcome back. Thank you very much for watching that part of the video. Let's uh, just break this open. Let's open this up. Um, so yeah, um, I was a little bit surprised. The train has stopped now. I was, I was actually very surprised. So this little battery, this little battery, is now flat this battery costs $14 uh, and 14, 14 or 15 let's say $15 this battery costs $15 and I'm gonna plug it right back into this machine and then I am going to take this machine plug it back into the walls for 10 minutes and that or for 10 hours and then I have this battery again for another 40 minutes of running time yes 40 minutes this crapped all over the chevron battery which was what 17 minutes so so double this time so three uses wait four uses of this will pay for all the for eight of these batteries basically um so yeah so four uses of this will get me my time up over this so four uses and these are out the door actually a dollar ten for this twenty six dollars for the battery charger fifteen dollars for the battery and you get 40 minutes of use every time you recharge i think that's pretty awesome um but again this is only a 200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, there's some ever ready batteries which are more than a thousand milliamps. So I'm just going to get one of those rechargeable batteries and I'll be trying that in one of my next videos. But yeah, if you have Lego trains and you, you're sick and tired of wasting your money on these batteries, it's my job to find out what batteries are better for you what rechargeable batteries are better for you and also what simple easy cheap modifications you could make that will make your train run much much longer i will try this again when i get some new batteries but until then enjoy my other lego videos and content uh streaming this month um Thank you very much for watching. Again, smash that like button if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That will help me out a bunch. Also, I've got giveaways going off. So, yeah, join into them and good luck. And thank you very much again for watching. Bye for now. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 17 minutes. $14. $2. Dollars.